Hello, I'm John Connor. I work for the University of Liverpool. In this video we're just looking at the Creative Commons license selector. Now to get to this, if you just go to the creativecommons.org and then first set of boxes down, let's choose a license. Okay, so first of all we're presented with a series of questions. The first one is allow modifications of your work. Now what this question is referring to is the non-derivative part of the license and also the share alike part. If you don't know what these are, have a look at my previous video, the basics of the Creative Commons license, and decide on a license that you want from there. Okay, so I'm going to go with share alike. So people can make derivative works, but they have to share it with the same license that I've got on my work. Allow commercial uses of, the, of your work. This refers to the non-commercial part of the license. If you select no on this, your license will be non-commercial. So I'm going to go with yes. I don't mind commercial uses of my work. Finally, we have license jurisdiction. Now this just refers to where, you want, where in the world you want your license to apply. If you just want it in the UK, or wherever you are, you can just select it from the from the list. However, that will limit where your license will apply. So I suggest just leaving it as international, especially if you want people to use your work. It allows it the most open field. So what has this done? This has changed the license that I have selected. As you can see there, I've got an attribution, share alike, 3.0, unported license. The CC logo is Creative Commons. This is the attribution part of the license, and this is the share alike part. OK, so now we can fill in a little bit more information on our, on our piece of work in order to get our Creative Commons license statement a bit fuller. So first of all, we need a title for the work. And as you can see here, the uh, the license statement has changed accordingly. Okay, attribution of the work. Now this can either be a person or it can be an institution, depending on who owns the IP. So, if I put myself there, and also my institution. And then we can give them a URL to link that to. Make sure, put, sure you put http colon slash slash. And that's changed this part of the license to link to the University of Liverpool. What this part links to is the license code itself. So if, if we have a, a brief look at that, this will tell people what their freedoms are in the Creative Commons license. Full legal codes available there as well. Okay, so now what do we do with this? We can fill in these other fields if we want. Source work URL is just for derivative, if, if our work is a derivative work. You don't have to fill this in, and what I prefer to do on derivative works, if you can, um, where the parts of the derivative works are, is put put the derivative works license there. More permissions URL is just a URL to seek further permissions. If say if you had a non-commercial license and a user wanted to use it commercially, if you put this in there, um, it would give them a URL to go to so they could ask you about more permissions for the license format of the work. Now this this doesn't change anything to do with how the license statement looks but it will change how search engines pick it up. For example if I if I have it as an image there it changes some of the some of the XML statements. You don't really need to worry about that too much but if you if you can put the correct format of your work there. And finally the license mark. Now Obviously, all these link URLs aren't particularly useful if we're if we're looking at a book. We're not going to be able to follow them, 
So if we go to offline mode, it will give us a statement which which we can use to put into an offline piece of work. I would also include in this statement, I would include the link to the author or the attribu attributions website in there along the lines of to view the original work please visit or to view the author's website please visit so with our HTML with our HTML license version we can actually use this HTML code to put that into our web page so for example I've got a very basic web page here which is coded here and what I do is I copy that just paste it into the web page and there we go the license shows up in the web page right you may think this this license is a bit big so there are ways we can actually cut it down there is a shorthand for Creative Commons if you want to find it out for your particular license if you go back to back to this page and we click on this there's the shorthand text which we can put into our which we can put into our web page and replace the the long text that we were given that will shorten it a bit and also if you want a really short version what I would have is is this this logo which says all of that I would just have that logo and this statement so you can cut that off entirely because that logo says all of that 